Yes, hello. I am back. And we are in the yard, uh, just doing the daily checks. As you can see, uh, I'm not yet attached to my trailer. So I will be attaching to that in a second and I'll uh, show you how I do it. But that's the truck. Gave it a good old clean yesterday. Uh, so it's nice and shiny for now. How long it actually lasts, who knows, who knows. But um, yeah, we're gonna do our daily checks and we're gonna hook up to the trailer. We're gonna use a system called Black. Um, some of you drivers probably are aware of it, others may not be. Uh, but it's uh, the way a lot of companies like you to attach a trailer. It's brakes, legs, airlines, clip, kingpin. Uh, and obviously when you're attached in a trailer, uh, it's the other way around. So it's kingpin, clip, airlines, legs, brakes. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. So let's set you up and we'll get attaching. Okay, so we are now attached via the kingpin. Kingpin is in. Now what we need to do is put the dog clip in, which is this here. So let me just get my hands on it. And then it literally goes on like that. And that then enables the kingpin not to come out. So that's now locked in place. So king clip, kingpin clip, airlines. So now we've got to put the airlines onto there. So let's go and do that. Okay, so now the airlines are on, we do the legs. Leg handles around here. Don't ask how, but I just spotted that I got myself absolutely drenched in mud. <laughs> I think it's come off the handle of the of the landing gear as I've been uh, winding it up. Never mind. Anyway, then after that, uh, we do the brakes. Trailer brake. <sighs> Done. So the only other thing to do now is to uh, reset the suspension. I don't know if I showed you, but uh, this device here enables you to higher and lower the suspension. So you'll see it on the back wheel of the truck. If I press down, it'll go down. That was so slowly. If I press the green button, it'll just self-level. So the trailer would be somewhat level with the rest of the truck. But anyway, we're now hitched up, which is good. For those of you who sometimes wonder what the inside of my truck looks like, I don't always show it. It's a bit messy at the moment. But that's my uh, my bed. Got my fan up there. And obviously, driver's seat as well. 
so pretty much all good to go we've just got to do some more daily checks and then uh, we'll be off there's John look he's got air horns on the side of his truck blow us around I guess he's off now then is he See you later then. Bye! <laughs> Stop waving back. Right, so, um, we're actually mega early. We don't need to be uh, where we need to be until like seven o'clock. And it's quarter past six. And it takes like 10 minutes to get there. So we are quite early. So we're just gonna sit in the truck, make sure everything is done, all the daily checks and then we'll be good to go. Apparently I've got some new stuff coming to the truck soon. So I've got some wheel rims to go on the wheels, which will cover the nuts up. So it'll be like a, a rim to go around the front on, on the drive wheel, uh, no, the steering wheel and the lift axle. I need to get a hub to go on the back of there. And uh, I should hopefully be getting some per perimeter lights put on the top soon as well of the, of the cab. And I need to do some more polishing on my old tank as well. But yeah, so I'm going to go sit in the cab, uh, charge up my GoPro a little bit because it's just come up saying low battery. And uh, see you in a bit. Right, we are pretty much good to go. I just need to get a new hoodie out. There we go, because obviously the other one got dirty. Really annoyed me actually that it got dirty so much. Like, <coughs> that was minging. <laughs> Anyway, we're good to go. We've done all our checks. It's now just gone half past six. And uh, well, we need to get going really to go get loaded. So let's make our way. Let's open the gate. We go out a new way now. We've got a magic keypad that we press. So by the time I get around there, hopefully it'll be open. But uh, yeah, today we've got to get loaded out of Cerny. We're on the bags. Got to get loaded out of Cerny to go to Stoke Gifford in Bristol. Uh, from there, we then need to go to Henbury to do a Shepton Mallet and possibly a Yate. I can't, I can't remember. I do know it's going to be pushing it for time, but hey ho, you can only do what you can do, innit? So we'll have to wait and see. So look, the gate's open, look, because I pressed the button back there. And now I've gone past it, it closed straight back up again, so that's pretty handy. So yeah, we're heading to Sony Wick to go and get loaded. So, let's go. going to Stoke Gifford as I previously mentioned um, and then yeah we, we're doing a Shepton Mallet and then we're doing a Yate so that's the plan for today whether or not it all gets done or not is a different matter <laughs> um, we'll have to see I think it's pushing it but if we get loaded and uh, offloaded quite quickly then we should be all right kind of depends on Stoke Gifford when we get there uh, they don't take deliveries before nine o'clock uh, in fact, on the paperwork it says no deliveries um, before or after nine o'clock, but well, before nine o'clock or after, I think it was half past three. So there's a very short window of times for trucks to be delivering to Stoke Gifford. Uh, I mean, the problem is, it could be a queue when we get there. Our ETA is actually nine o'clock. That could go uh, later, could go earlier, depends on traffic. I am going a different, to a, a different way to what the sat-nav has taken me because it thinks I can't go under the bridge at Malmesbury, which is 4.2 metres, and I can get under that bridge, but even if I tell the sat-nav I'm 4.19, it still won't take me under there for some reason. Who knows? But um, 
Yeah, so we'll have to wait and see when we get to Stoke Gifford as to whether or not there's uh, any traffic. That truck just told me my beacons are on, so I'll just turn them off. Better say thank you. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on. Let's get the day done. It's not a good day today. Hopefully it's going to warm up a little bit. It's still only 13 degrees out. We'll see. Right, let's crack on. Okey-dokey, we are literally a mile away from where we need to be. Um, two right-hand side lanes go right, so yeah, we can stay in this lane. We want to go to the A4174. So yeah, um, ETA when we left was 9 o'clock. Um, it's now just gone 20 to 9, we'll be there in like 3 minutes, so we're going to be there. Uh, just before quarter two, and I need to fill up with some Ad Blue. Um, during my trek, during my checks this morning, I noticed I was low, but it's okay because I carry spare Ad Blue in my side locker. So all I got to do is when I stop here, is just get the five liter drum out and uh, put it put it in. Basically, that five liters will last me probably the rest of the week. The Ad Blue on this is is amazing. It lasts so long. I could fill it up, and it lasts for like a week and a half. Um, maybe maybe even two weeks. It's really really good actually. Quite impressed. Whereas with the other truck, it'd be it'd be run out in like two days, which is not a lot. Hmm. So I mean, if they get me in straight away and they offload me quickly, like they have done in the past, they can be fast here. Um, then I could be loaded and on my way to Shepton Mallet by half past ten which would be nice, but I personally can't see me being on my way to Shepton Mallet until gone 11 o'clock. Yeah, that's that's my worry anyway. But, I mean, we'll have to see, won't we? I'll do what I can. Oh, bloody traffic lights. Stop, I swear to God, I stopped at like every traffic light coming up this road. Traffic lights are driving me crazy. Green light, let's go. Oh, just so much effort having to try and rebuild up the momentum on the truck when you're fully loaded. Never mind. Um, can I see? No, I can't see yet. We've got to do a couple of left-hand turns and we'll be able to see, hopefully, whether there's any trucks there. Hmm. I haven't yawned once on the way here. I yawn once on camera, and then I can't stop. <laughs> it's always the way. Right, let's go left here. It's all clear. Excellente. I need to go left again. What's that car doing? He's not indicating. Yeah, let's get straight on. Fingers crossed we can get straight in. We'll see if we find out. <sighs> Jesus, stop yawning, Luke. Right, that's uh, some sort of truck coming out. I'm gonna have to stop to let him out, because I won't be able to get around. He's not indicating yet, so I don't know where he's going. I only assume he's going right. He's not indicating left. Cool. I think we are going to be the first one here. I 
think so. We'll find out in a sec. Oh. Well, there's no one else queuing up anyway. Anyway, camera's gonna have to come off now because I'm not allowed to film on site. So I'll see you soon. Right, we are just leaving in a bit of a nightmare. Not, not too much of a nightmare. We, uh, we turned up quarter to nine. Paperwork says no deliveries before nine o'clock, so wouldn't expect him to get straight in. Uh, he, and he goes, what have you got, Drive? So I told him what we got on the paperwork. He goes, oh yeah, we need that, come straight in. <laughs> so yeah, basically, because they were desperate for what I needed. I mean, they were desperate to come straight off my truck and on theirs um, to go to wherever he's got to go to. So they were desperate for it. I said, so if I turned up earlier, would you have tipped it? And they said, yes. So. It's a little bit annoying because it meant means I could have got night loaded Friday or Saturday and then um, start earlier, which would make my day easier. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so uh, they uh, offloaded me quite quickly, actually. I had three forklifters on me at one point and um, finished tipping by 10 past nine. Anyway, the problem is it's now half past nine. It took me 20 minutes nearly just to get out. Um, it's one of those... Uh, yards where you get blocked in by builders you know with their vans so uh they managed to get me out of the parking space where i parked and there was one van in the way which to be fair he just had to strap down some stuff and then he off off he went but um there was a car that was parked right on the bend and he did not come out of the shop for 15 20 minutes i think someone went and got him but he still didn't get out so he was just being a bit of an idiot um, but he wasn't holding just me up because I was holding everybody else up. There's about five, six, seven people being held up wanting to get out of the yard, but they couldn't because of the one car that was in the way and then me blocking up the rest of the way. I couldn't go anywhere, so never mind. Anyway, ETA to Henbury is now 10 to 10. Um, fingers crossed, if we get in there and straight out again, it will be half past 10 um, or before 11 o'clock before we get out, which would be nice. Um, <laughs> But I've just been told by Jabba, who drives the sister truck of this, uh, as I was coming out, he was just going in. Didn't get it on camera because the uh, GoPros weren't recording at the time. But apparently the Yates delivery that I got to do, they're desperate for it. So it's going to be interesting because I'm doing it in the order I've been told to do it, which is Shepton Mallet and then Yate. Um, so if I do the Shepton Mallet and I get held up, then I can't do the Yate. So we'll have to wait and see. But I should, should be able to do it all, hopefully. Just have to wait and see whether I need to night load or not. Right, let's go and get loaded from Henbury and then we can uh, crack on to Shepton Mallet. Right, so we're just turning up now to uh, Henbury site to get loaded. Uh, we've got a jackknife fit around here. Do a proper, proper tight 180 degree turn and jackknife it. So, fingers crossed we don't break anything. I mean, I have never broken anything since coming here for like well over a year. But there's always going to be one day, isn't there? Organised chaos, I think, is the wording for this place. It's a bit of a nightmare, but it, it is safe. Everyone's got their wits about them. And this, this is the little turner circle we've got to turn around in. So we go as tight as we can on the left, like so. Go up here and run it around. Now, if you're lucky, you can do it in one go, but nine out of ten times, you've got to take a second shunt. Um, yeah, we've got to take a second shunt. Now, the Susie's will be in proper stretch while doing this. It is advised if you are. Uh, if you don't want to snap your snoozies, to take them off and then run your trailer along in uh, shunt mode. But I've done this plenty of times and my Susie's have never snapped yet. So I keep them on. There we go, now we've just got to line up straight. the shunter behind us. Mind the forklift down the side. Ok, 
Okay, then we go back, go back, go back, go back, so we can get lined up in the right position. And uh, we basically got to be like in the middle of the yard almost on this bit, so they uh, can get into the shunter right side. So, just park like this. There we go. 180 degree jackknife turn. Right now, I've got to drop the sides, and I expect uh, next time you see me, I'll be on the on the front one where he is ahead. So, see you in a bit. Right, we are done. As in, we are loaded. And it's only quarter past ten. So, uh, yeah, we've done very well. Our ETA to Shepton Mallet is at half past eleven. Uh, I imagine we'll be there for an hour because they're not the fastest there. And then so that'll be half past 12, an hour and 15 back. So we're talking quarter to two back. So it's not too bad. I didn't think we were going to get back until like three o'clock. You've got to bear in mind we've got to get loaded and to the next delivery point by four. So it is still pushing it. But it's going to be very much a case of how fast Shepton Mallet actually gets us offloaded. If we're there for two hours, that's going to mess us up. We want to be in and out in an hour. But, like I said, every time I've been there before, it's the, not the fastest. I think they've only got one forklift, one forklift up. So as soon as a customer comes, obviously they go and sort the customer out. So, um, you've not got a dedicated forklifter like you do in some of these places. Like where I've just been in Stoke Gifford, you, you'll have a dedicated forklifter. It might only be one, but it'll be dedicated to you. But obviously today was alright because I, uh, I had three of them on me, intermittently. Uh, one or two, well two of them, uh, all the time I had two of them on me. And then the other one, the third one was in between seven customers. But he took off at least sort of 20% himself, so. Not going to knock him. Uh, and then when I go to my delivery in Yate later, again, dedicated forklifter. But not where I'm going now in Shepton Mallet. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of a bit of a pain if I'm there too long. But we will see. Let's give way to these cars coming on the left-hand side. One and two. Uh, land Tay. I say thank you to this guy for letting me out. Well, not that he let me out, but he gave me room. Anyway, so on our way to Shepton Mallet, probably a good time to remind you all that if you use my code 2019 Luke C on Truckfest's website, you will get 10% off single day uh, tickets. Uh, and also, Shepton Mallet is the truck show that I'm going to, along with uh, the other road legends. So um, definitely go to Truffest website, use my code, and get you get your discount basically. Because uh, we'll be there. Last year we were in like a little building. Don't know where we're going to be this year. Obviously at Peterborough we had uh, an exhibition trailer. It would be nice if we had the uh, exhibition trailer again because it was just very nice to be honest with you. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. As to trucks going, I think we're we're all taking our trucks, but. Mine won't be at the Vloggers Village because uh, my boss has taken the rest of his truck, so they want them all together basically, which is kind of good, kind of bad. It's a bit annoying because that means I'm gonna have to, I might be really far away from where they park. So we'll see. A little bit annoying, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, but yeah, let's crack on to Shepton Mallet now. Hopefully, we can get offloaded nice and quick.
dokey. That car is well over its line and I'm now going to struggle as a result. Okay, we made it. Is he over his line? Yeah, he's definitely over his line. That's alright, we made it. Uh, there's a lot of traffic coming down here. I might struggle getting into my turning. I've got to do, do a right turn in a sec. Time is... I can't see the time. What time is it? It's 20 to 12. So, I think we made up a little bit of time, not an awful lot. Alright, are we going to struggle to get into this industrial estate? Oh, no, someone's left a gap, I think. No, not really. Kind of left a gap. I'm assuming he's letting me go. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a police car down there, closing the road off. There was an accident back there. Uh, it looked like someone had gone out of junction without looking right and banged into a car. Ah, never mind. You stay there, forklift. I've just seen your mate cross the road. Right, so we are at Travis Perkins in Shepton Mallet. I don't even care about saying the name anymore. Let's just say the name. Travis Perkins in Shepton Mallet. Um, normally I park here, but I can't. I've got to be careful where I park because it's a very active industrial estate full of trucks. So we're going to park parallel to the left hand side of this road in an hope that the cars can get round and trucks. Yeah, there's loads of space, loads of space, loads of space. And then we just go on on, it, on in there. But we never just drive in, we always have to wait and uh, go and see him first. So let's go see him and hopefully we get let straight in. Right, we are just leaving now. Although I just want to check something real quickly. I was just checking the route it was taking me on the sat nav because I'm not entirely sure if I can do a right hand turn that it's getting me to do. Is that a van coming out? Yeah, no indication, but he's coming out. Coming out very slowly, no number plate on the back, no indication. Nice one, mate. Um, yeah, so we're on our way back to Bristol now in Henbury. Each day there is currently 10 to 2. So, uh, yeah, actually, not, all in all, that's not too bad. Even if I'm there for an hour, it'd be 3 o'clock, and I should then still be able to make the delivery for half past 3. So, fingers crossed, it's all going to go to plan. The only problem is um, getting back to night load. Could be, uh, could be waiting a while to night load. He's actually going on the main road with no number plate on the back. And he just pulled out in front of that truck. Hmm. Seems a bit of a dodgy driver to me. Let me out, please. I'll go after this. Oh, he's letting me out. Thank you very much. Better say thank you to him. Right, so yeah, the sat-nav is telling me to take a right turn here. Yeah, I can go right. I don't know, there's there's a crossroad somewhere down here, around this area. Um, and you, the sat-nav says do a right, but you can't. It may have updated though, since I updated my sat-nav. I don't know. Who knows? I'll let this car out. Go on then. Oh, you're going right. I didn't see you indicating right until the last minute. You can go if you want. Go, 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 go. Being far too kind today, I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm having a good day today, to be fair. Both jobs I went straight in and uh, straight out, so I am happy. Happy, happy, happy. Just got to get back now and uh, get loaded for Yates. You're blocking the crossroad. These lights turn green now. I'm going to struggle getting down that van. Who's just making the job even tighter? Huh. 
To be fair, there's no yellow hatchings to say keep clear. But you would have thought that they would keep clear. Yeah, and they're blocking that traffic coming from the right. It's all entertaining, isn't it? Our truck's creeping forward over there to the left. Oh, come on then, let's go. Let me out. Green light, green light, green light, green light. So yeah, we've got to uh, head through Bristol traffic again. Um, shouldn't be too bad, because we hopefully will miss the rush hour for lunch, the lunchtime rush hour, where everybody's out getting lunch and pressing traffic lights and causing traffic to stop and things like that. So we should miss that. But um, as I mentioned earlier, we come past an accident where a car T-boned another car coming out of a junction. Well, the traffic to that is just up the road. So we are gonna get held up in that traffic. So it's about eight minutes worth. So yeah, anyway, let's crack on. Ooh. Type R, what a Type R! I keep seeing Honda Civic Type R. I hardly ever see Honda Civic Type Rs, but when I do, they're in places I can't actually see properly. Damn it. I want to get a 2015, 2016, or 2017 model uh, Honda Civic Type R, otherwise known as the FK2. They're about 20 grand. Um, 307 horsepower. <laughs> 307 horsepower and a top speed of like 170 miles an hour, pretty much. Um, yeah, I, um, I just need to buy out my current car and hopefully by, well, within half a year, within six months, I'm hoping I'm, I'm gonna have a Type R. That's the plan, that's the plan, that's the plan, that's the plan, I'm getting excited because I really want one. Anyway, um, see you in a bit. Apparently I might be coming back to night load. I might be coming back to night load. Apparently, I don't know yet. Wait to wait to hear. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't know yet. I'll see you later. Right, so as you probably just heard, <laughs> I might be on a night out tonight. Uh, the last I heard was leave it with me, and we'll find out. And we're going to see if I because uh, I'm doing the Yate now. I'm on my way to Yate, just leaving. Uh, and there's talked about me coming back to night load uh, out of Bristol which would then mean staying in Bristol for tonight doing a night out but uh, the last I heard was we, we will see and he's just been well he just told me that he hasn't been told anything yet so we'll see it's uh it's nearly 20 past two so you would have thought they knew about it by now We'll wait and see. We'll, uh, we'll go get this delivery made in Yate. ETA there's quarter to three, which ain't too bad. I said earlier about three o'clock, didn't I? So um, we are on schedule. If I get there for quarter to three, they can be quite fast, as long as you get straight in. So I could be out by, I don't know, half past three. The trouble is it's just over an hour to get back to Cerny. So I wouldn't be back until like, quarter to five, five o'clock. And obviously they all go home there by then as well, so. It's supposed to be, uh, cars coming this way are supposed to give way to oncoming vehicles and seeing as I was indicating right, I am theoretically an oncoming vehicle. And he didn't stop, but he did put his hand up, so it's all good. Anyway, I just, from, I just filled it with AdBlue as well. I say filled up, put a five litre drum in, uh, and that's given me half half a tank. So based on that, I must have a, tank, a 10 tank add blue, 10, 10 litre add blue tank. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but that would, that would last me well over a week. So I'm hoping that this will last me until Friday now. Uh, if not, I'll obviously just have to stop and get some more. But I just spotted my beacons on in his windows. Never mind. So yeah, uh, let's go to Yate, let's get this dropped off and then we can find out what we're doing then for uh, for later, really. 
Right, just leaving, uh, where am I? <laughs> Yate. Just leaving Travis Perkins Yate now. Very tight bend. We're clear. Right, so the plan is we are now heading back to Cerny to get night loaded to go to Winterbourne tomorrow. So uh, I will be home tonight. So that's good. That's really good. I was actually, to be honest with you, I was, wasn't too bothered about doing a night out, to be fair. Normally get quite a good night's sleep when you do a night out. So I wasn't too fussed about doing a night out, but never mind. I would rather be home, of course. You know, see the uh, see the family. But if I got to do a night out, then so be it. Come on, cyclist. Pedal to the medal. So my sat nav tells me to go straight on, but there's a uh, a right hand turn coming up, which I believe to be quicker. So that's the way I'm going to go. That is the way I'm gonna go. Anyway, we're done. Done for the day. And uh, that's three loads. Hopefully you've enjoyed the vlog. Uh, more vlogs will be on the way. Apologies for the delay in vlogging. Like I said, I just had quite a bit on recently, what with truck fest and live streams. And that's a red light, do not go through. Okay, it's green now. Okay, mine's still not green. <laughs> right, thank you for watching. Uh, until next time, drive safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.